Hey Bulldogs, do you know what percentage of our school is Hispanic? Um, I'd probably say like 90, 80%. Um, 95% of the people. 99.99999% 85 85% Gotta be 85% The correct answer is 94% Making Braddock one of the high schools with the most Hispanic students in Miami-Dade County With students from Cuba, Colombia, República Dominicana, Puerto Rico and many other Latino countries We are fortunate enough to have a melting pot of cultures in our very own courtyard Cuba! Colombia! Grawa! Cuba! Venezuela! Dominican Republic! Chile! Rico. Nicaragua! My favorite part of being Hispanic is mostly the food and the dances. That I speak two languages, that's pretty damn cool. It's algo especial porque tenemos una química que no la tiene nadie. People are really nice in Hispanic culture. Bro, carnazada is fire in Nicaragua. <laughs> y el gallo pinto, queso <laughs> frito. <laughs> In celebration of Hispanic Heritage Month, the World Language Honor Society set up a Domino tournament. Let's go check it out. We decided to do this event because we needed to raise funds for the clubs. And what better way to do this than to do a Domino's tournament, which is a way in which we can bring Hispanics together and celebrate Hispanic culture in October, which is Hispanic Heritage Month. I think people should celebrate Hispanic Heritage Month, especially here in Miami, because we're surrounded by the Hispanic culture. We have a lot of people from Cuba, we have a lot of Cubans, we have a lot of uh, Colombians, we have people from Venezuela, we have a lot of people from different uh, Latin American countries. So I think it's very important we celebrate it and celebrate their culture so people can be well educated on everybody else's background. You don't know what you have until it's gone. Luckily, living in Miami, we get to have our Latino culture in our everyday lives. Embrace it, I know I am. This has been Vanessa Bonilla with DTV.